guys, welcome back to the Anchorage where everything is awesome and I'm going to play with uh, some stuff here. I've got this little doodad here and uh, you know, it's if I open it here, I'll take a look at it. This is a GPU stand because it says so right there, GPU stand. Basically what this basically is, is, ooh, it's got a nice little, nice little box inside of the box it looks like. So I'm going to... Take a moment to dig this thing out. Ah, and here we go. Well, it's not exactly a box inside of the box. It's the stand. It sits inside of here. You know, it's almost kind of velvety. You know, it's, it's got a little bit of a texture. So it's a nice presentation. This happens to be a GPU stand by NKO Max that I happen to purchase off of Amazon. And, uh... You know, and this is what it looks like. Basically, it looks like, uh, you know, a oh, chapstick container of sorts, but this actually has a particular purpose. Um, you know, it, it unscrews, so you can kind of see the little gap right there somewhat if I go like this, if it focuses. But the point of this is that this is to be used inside of a computer. And uh, because of the uh, GPU or the graphics card, you know, today's, uh, you know, the newer G graphics cards and stuff like that, they're getting so big and they're getting really heavy. So let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, so here we have Odin. So this is the machine that I play my one game on and I also do the editing of these videos on it. So I've taken all the cables out and everything and I've got it sitting up here you might see these little things here these are USB uh, uh, USB sticks those are my uh, my crypto wallets so information about that is down below and of course here we have this and we have my case mod where I painted the other side of this and covered up the uh, decal so We've got there, but we're not working with that at all. We're going to be working on the inside. And so here we have the front cover, side cover off, and you can see the insides. So we've got, you know, this line here, which is, uh, you know, it's full of water because it goes up to this radiator up here for uh, my cooling solution. Here's the water block on the processor, so the water comes up through here goes up into the radiator and then it comes back down through back to the water block and circles like that so the water is pulling the heat away and pushing up into the radiator and then these fans underneath push that air out so warm air comes out of the top here so what we've got going on down here is the graphics card this is a, an EVGA GeForce RTX 3070 so this is all of my graphic work, uh, you know, calculating and rendering and processing and everything like that. And it's kind of heavy. It's like close to five pounds. I should probably take that out so I can show it to you a little better. Okay, here is the graphics card. This is the EVGA GeForce RTX 3070. This is the graphics card. The entire package. Now the card itself, you know, the, the PCB or the circuit board, it does span this whole length of this. This is just the back plate. And then, you know, you've got your card, which is right there. And then the rest of this is nothing but the cooling solution. It's the fans. So, we've got the fans here, and now the whole idea of this is from here what I can do is that, you know, with this out, this out of the unit, you know, I can do different things. Uh, you know, I actually have additional SATA ports here, or SATA headers that are right down there to go to different drives or, or whatnot. Uh, I have a uh, I have a Viper NVMe storage drive, which is where my games are on, 
And then underneath this shield here is the hard drive, which is an NVMe hard drive with the operating system on it. At some point, I'm going to be cloning that. But what we're going to be doing today is we are actually going to be doing something to help support the card. So with this in here, and uh, I'll be able to show that to you. Now with the card in here, I've got to put back in. I just don't have it plugged in. These are the power cords for it. But they're also kind of very, you know, they're bound together, which is fine. But, you know, it's, they're extra long and they don't need to be. So I might actually switch these out with, uh, with, a, with a custom cable from a company called Cable Mod. That, you know, I'll have the black and green. So I'll do that at some point. So, but the whole point of having this open is to show you how this is going to get used. You know, what is this used for? Well, with these heavier cards, you can see that there's a, a little bit of play here. You know, part of it is the flimsiness to how they're connected. You know, it's in the slot and it's in there, but you know, after it's uh, screwed into place, and I'll actually get one in here. You know, partly screw it in. And of course, it doesn't want to. Come on, get in there. There you go. Okay, so we'll get this in. And uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll put the other one in here as well. Because it'll just be a little more accurate. And that accuracy is what I'm talking about is, you know, how stable it is with it sitting in there. Now the card is in and I've got it screwed in here where it should be. But if I go like this, see a little wobble? You know, it, we call that, you know, basically it's a sag. The weight of the card is to the point where it's actually causing it to sag because it likes to sag down as you can see that. This is supposed to help uh, alleviate that. So, I have a little bit of dust there. I'll take care of that later. But what I want to do here is I want to uh, extend this out. So, I have to unscrew it. Alright, so, you know, we've got the sag going on here. And I want to alleviate this sag. Try to keep it a little more even. So I've gone ahead, I've unscrewed this, so you can now see that it's extended out. And I'll uh, take care of that. It's like a tightening thing. And then I take this, and I will go ahead and I'll push this up a little bit. I'll get this under here. In there. And there we go. And that alleviates it. It helps push this end up. So that it's kind of like a stability bracket. It keeps it from sagging down. Because if I take it out, watch. See how it sags? I don't want that sag. So I'm going to put this right back in that corner. And I put that like that. Now the bottom of this uh, this shaft thing. Uh, what do they call it? A stand. As I look at the box. You know, is that the bottom here has a magnet in it. Now this section here, you know, this is the basement as it were. And it's, uh, you know, cause the power supply is down here, down that way. And so it's got a magnet, holds that steady, and then twists this up and it pushes up on that, helps keep this level so that it doesn't sag. So that resolves that. And that's pretty much it. And there we go. So we went ahead and we took the panel off, went to do the card, we put on the uh, the stand, and this thing's ready to go. So that was, um, you know, was it fun to do? It wasn't fun to do, but, you know, it needed to be done to help, help sag. Because when you actually take away some of the stress of, of the weight from the slot that the PCB slides into, you know, it, when you relieve that, that added stress I mean that could that, that could have an effect on the life of the slot you know it's like you know 
yeah, I might be fine for five years, but then I might get weak and, you know, start having connectivity issues because the connections are starting to, you know, crack, break, you know, what have you. So, and by bracing that, you know, bracing that end of the card, it helps alleviate the stress that's put on the card at the slot. And, um, you know, some of these cards, uh, they don't have the, the added uh, stability feature that they need on the, on the uh, portion that connects to uh, the, the slots on the outside. You know, and uh, you know, it's gotten better over the past couple of years, but it's not perfect. So, this, using a, a, a brace like I've done, it helps it a little bit. So, there we go. And uh, that's pretty much the end of this one here as we went and we mucked around with uh, the Odin. So that is, I think, is going to be the last thing I do with this machine for some time. So um, much like with Solaria, I don't really do anything with that, although I might update the cables uh, through a cable mod uh, with a black, black and green color scheme. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's like I don't have to do it. You know, it's not a necessity because, what well, do you know, well, with this portion here painted black, you're not going to see it anyways. And it operates just fine. So, we'll leave it at that. And, uh, you know, I may revisit that in the future. And if not, eh, then whatever. So, there we go. So, thank you very much for coming along and mucking around with the Odin with me. And uh, your help was invaluable. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without you watching because I can't get anything done unless people are looking at me. Thanks. Skull.